So what is going on guys here? My name is XBuzzerMan and today I got for you Clash Clans video. What we're going to do today is we're going to be going over five useful programs in Clash of Clans that will help you dominate the game. These programs aren't illegal at all. They're just used to really assist you with the game and help you have a slight advantage over others. It's more or less just knowledge. It will provide you knowledge. Imagination. So these aren't any kind of mods or anything like that. What I want you guys to do is put in the comment section down below what your favorite type of rating is. Whether you do you like farming, trophy pushing, or warring. Put in down below your favorite and why. Give me a description why or just your favorite thing. So yeah, go ahead, do it down below. Alright guys, so for our first website we have for you, it's called ClashOfClansForecaster.com. As you can see by the website right here, we'll just go ahead and scroll down, scroll down and around, and it looks really weird. It just looks like a bunch of charts. But what it is, is it basically finds out when the best times for loot are in the game. Have you ever wondered, when is the best time to raid? Or you think maybe at night is the best time, right when you wake up? Well, this will actually tell you through statistics. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look through. As you can see right here, it says loot available all around this area. Usually when it's green, so it's like this little area right here. I don't know if I can drag anything. But this area, it says 8 p.m. So this works off of your time as well. I believe it, I believe it does. I'm not 100% sure. I'm almost, posi almost positive it works off whatever yours, yours is. So mine's central time, and as you can see, the optimal times to do it are when it's at its highest highest graph. So right here, this looks like eight between eight and nine p.m. in the night. Two a.m. always seems to be like a hot time to find a good amount of loot. And then, is as you can see, like earlier in the day at like ten a.m. doesn't look so hot. You can also see things like worldwide stats stats and the regions at which they're like most active players. They also have a little area right here called Farmer's Forecast that basically summarizes everything. So for today's forecast it says loot available is terrible right now. This will continue for the next 42 minutes when it will slightly improve to be okay. However, loot will then take a it will be terrible again in about 2 hours 47 minutes from now. Loot won't be good until five hours 52 minutes from now right now loot has been down in clash of clans so um also you can see like these current times um this is where it shows you like the current time so if you're looking at like you know the united states central time which is my time you can see it right there so this will really help you find out when you're going to want to maybe use your gems you know you saved up quite a few gems and want to boost for two hours well um, as you can see right here, 6 to 9 p.m. would probably be the optimal time to use that. Also, 2 a.m. in the morning if you're that kind of person. Alright guys, for this next one over here, we're going to be looking at WarClans.com. Now, this is all about Clash of Clans warring. So, if you guys are big into that, this is a great website for you. It's basically kind of like a whole reconnaissance website which you can look up other clans. We're going to go ahead and give this a shot and we'll just go ahead and start off by looking at Clash Heads which will show you basically what it does. It basically rates everyone based upon a little scoring system. It's their own little algorithm but it shows how good a clan is, whether how many war wins they get, how well they win by, and just overall strength. So let's go ahead and look at these are the actual top clans they say. One stop Clash Heads, you know, all the way down here you can see which are the best ones currently. Let's go look at one stop because it's English, or it's not English, but uh... So as you can see, basically, they've won a lot of wars. There's a lot of them right here. I mean, they, they've, they lost one right here. Let's go on to the next one. This is where it basically does. You can almost go and have a like a reconnaissance where you can see how many they have won, how many of they have lost. Let's look at Eagle Warrior. Let's go ahead and show you basically what's going on with them. So you can look through everything and you can look through all their players, you can look through the war wins, and you can even see what kind of troops they use, what's in their army composition right now. That can be deadly guys, I mean if you think about it, if you look at all these, let's say, as you can, they, they pretty much all have the same ones right now, but these are the ones they've been using and or they have used in war. So overall, you can basically plan how you want to build a base against what they're raiding with. 
You can also see who you're playing against. So let's just type in a random name. Let's go ahead and do the heroes. Maybe the heroes are any good. And you can see basically their ranking. So let's go ahead to go to the heroes right now. You can see everything they have about them. There's even features like builder, like you can actually build bases right here. So as you can see, I don't, there it is. You can, you can like drag and drop things certain places. That's not like the best thing, but if you're looking for like layouts and stuff, there's actually even layouts here for like warm war bases and things like that. So really cool overall. But uh, I mean, there, there's, there's like wikis, top players. It's, it's a lot of information on this website that you could use and benefit from. Now this website right here is if you are ever looking for a good base design. Now as you can see right here, we have a lot of things going on and you can actually find any kind you want. Whether it be a war base, a farming base, all you have to do is search whatever you're trying to do, like a base type. So we can go ahead and let's just say we're looking for a clan war base and we want a town hall level 9. Let's go ahead and search that up and as you can see it gives you a various list of different types of bases. You can click on it right here and it has its own little interactive system in which you can actually see the base. So here it is right here. We can look at everything. We can look even how far everything or the range extends. So if we look over here, this wizard tower and it has like this range and you can see everything you have to go right here. You can even like look at general hot zones. So as you can see like general ranges, you can see like splash damage where every splash damage defense goes, where every like single attack is and then um, like air so there's a lot of really cool things that can kind of keep a very condensed space and help you when it comes to actually rating there's even like a comment section to show how good something is maybe some people will leave suggestions to where they want to you know add to the base themselves so you can actually get live feedback for each base there are even tactics on this website right here you can create some characters that's that's pretty stupid in my opinion um, it's just forming too um, they have a forms, but Clash Clans forms is great for that. And they even have a guide section where everyone has their like own guides to help you out within the game. So this next one right here is all about army compositions. And what it allows you to do is create an army composition for all you unique raiders out there who want to make your own customized army compositions. It's great for you. What you do is you just select through the drop down menu below what the level is of the troop you have. So let's just say we have... We're going to choose these guys right here. We're going to say we have all level 7s. Let's add a P.E.K.K.A. and or just, you know, max levels. Then you can go ahead and choose exactly how many you want. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, you can either do the drop down menu where it's like that or you can type it in yourself. You can scroll on down and it will show you exactly how many troops you want to put in every barrack to gain the maximum amount of time spent. So let's go ahead and add another barrack. So we're going to have level 10 barracks. We're going to move on down and we're going to actually just queue up some troops right here. Let's just say 60 of each. We're not even going to check to see the maximum amount. So we added our list right here. As you can see, we have our archers, our P.E.K.K.A.s. I think we have a healer and like some wizards. We're going to go ahead and look down. And as you can see, the troop distribution, it shows you how many you want to put in each barrack. So 12 barbarians, 6 archers, 1 healer, 1 P.E.K.K.A. You can do that the first two times, but then you do the two wizards and two P.E.K.K.A.s alone right there. That will show you optimal amount of time to save the most amount of time in Clash of Clans. You can also do Dark Barracks, so you can integrate that as well. And then you can go ahead and even add your spells and your heroes. It will then go on to show your army statistics, so like average speed, average hit points, total air hit points, totals, and that can help you decide how fast you want your army to be, you know, how the amount of meat sticks, things like that. So it's a very good website to allow you to kind of test some things out and find the actual statistics of the army that you are making. Hey guys, to finish everything off, we're just going to go with a very easy one. This is called ClashCaller.com. And what it basically is, it's a war guide and it just adds spots so everyone can so everyone can claim who they want to go in war. You can do a few other things, but that's the main for that's the main feature for it. So all you have to do is press start war and you can either do that or you can even have a real life, real time war. So it is, if this is like a mock war, maybe you're doing something like uh, a projected thing, just you can either do this offline, maybe before a raid happens, like who has who, 
or you can do a current raid by doing more options. I'm just going to go ahead and do a random one. So we're just going to go ahead and type in some random things right here, submit it. And basically what it does is it goes ahead and it allows you to actually claim a spot. So I'm going to claim this. Maybe I'll claim this I'll, and I'll say my name. So X buzzer man will go right here and I've claimed the number one guy. So then put my name by that and no one can go ahead and take that themselves. And everyone can use this unique clan ID as you can see right here. So everyone can log on to this one clan account and start claiming who they want to go in war. That's one of the most the most confusing things is no one knows who to attack because people are claiming here and there and this website solves that problem. Alright guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you could please leave a like, that would definitely be appreciated. Remember, comment down below your favorite strategy in Clash of Clans, whether it be attacking, raiding, whether it be farming, warring, trophy pushing, put it in the comment section down below, I'd like to see it, and then put why, your reasoning why. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, later.